So Khalid, today I want us to show um, everyone how to make scones. We, okay. We're talking cookery school scones. Cookery school scones, because right. scones are very tasty. They look as if they're very easy to make, but I eat more bad scones than I eat good scones. So we're going to show everyone a few tricks well, first of making all, scones. First of all, before we start that, what we do in cookery school, you have to measure all your ingredients yes. and get everything ready in front of you, including flour. So should we go through what we've got? Yeah, we have the flour we and the salt, yeah. baking powder, but with That's ingredients, it. we have milk, oil, and the egg. So we have dry ingredients here, yeah. which is flour, baking powder, and salt, yeah. right? We'll just mix them together lightly. That's it. Okay. Right. An egg. Oh. Yeah, you're breaking your egg into something first to check it's fine. That's right, yeah. Egg. Egg. And do you want to just beat the egg? Yes, I've got four. Okay. 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 Get the egg a quick beat. Beat the egg. And then we're going to add enough milk to the egg to make up three quarters of a cup. Yeah. yeah. And oil afterwards. Can we pull the fork out? Right. That's it. Together, six ounces, I think it's about 150 ml. Yeah. Right. And, and make then, sure that all these ingredients mix properly become one. Right. Come on. They have to be, otherwise you can have some left uh, yes, egg not exactly. mixed nicely. And, and we then can add, add the, oil. the oil. Can I just say something? If you're not going to use oil, some people rub butter That's into right. the flour. Yes. We don't do that at yeah. cookery school because but we're trying feasible. to reduce, yes, and we're also trying to reduce the animal fat that That's we use right. yeah. these days because yeah. your taste, these are absolutely delicious, but they're not made with butter. And they're going to be served with cream and jam, so they're going to be super And also rich. we don't use the sugar into our scones. No, and we don't put sugar yeah. into no. our scones no. because we're going to add lovely sweet things to it. Right. Um, also, I prepared one baking tray and also my oven is already preheated, so it's very important. Great. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. because you've got to put them into a hot oven. That's right. Nice hot oven. That's right. So just to make sure I'm going to add, mix the oil, eggs and milk together nicely. Okay. This absolute secret is that you're going to mix it very quickly yeah. and then you're going to just pat it up with your hands, fold it in half and we don't want it too wet, we don't want it too to dry. dry. It has to be right moisture to He it. is going to make, the master is going to make the perfect scone. Here you go, it's okay. Done. The whole lot in one go except very okay. little at the end. Yeah, and I'll get that. Let's see how that goes. And quick mixing, very quick mixing, just over and over because we don't, it's almost there, it's almost mixed, that's how quick the mixing is. I think you, we can we have a look? More. I think add some more, because okay. it's a bit dry, yeah. add, add it all. Yeah, add the whole lot. Perfect. And just pull it together, we there. Just, it's coming, come together. Can you see, Khalid, and that's it. That is it. Because as you pat it out, hold together. Out it goes. I'll take that, should I? Yeah. Brilliant. And by the time it's patted out and folded over, it's going to be there. Gentle fold. It's not hitting it. Just that's it. Not a hard hit, not a hard pat. Very gentle. Can we make it a bit taller? Yeah. Yeah. We want them nice and tall. That's it. Perfect. And if you touch, I can just show something. And you don't hit it hard. He was yeah. patting it yeah, just like softly. a gentle touch. And yeah. also to check if there is enough moisture just to this. Can you see it's easy yes. to, yeah. to Yeah, to we work don't want it. And it's all held together in one lot, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's It's not got little bits and it's not sticking. If we show everyone, just could you move it a wee bit to show them it's not even sticking to the table. It's just the perfect consistency. Yeah. That's brilliant. Also, I have a small, tiny bit of flour. Yeah. Just to break. Now your cutter to cut easily and nicely. Great. Yeah. And should we cut some of the plain round one? That's absolutely and some fine. Of the half? That's absolutely fine. And yeah. you're going to you're not going to just cut them all over, you're going to try and get as many, many out as, of this as, as you can, can yes. you? Yeah. Great. So to do that, just think that just to stop it from sticking. And you don't twist it, you just go straight down. Yeah. Because if you twist it round, it doesn't cut so neatly. Should we do a few with the straight one as well? Yeah. There we go. And 
last one. Okay, and we don't waste any of our dough because the dough hasn't been messed about. There we go. He's just going to put it together very gently, just pat it out once, fold it on top, and that's it. And now he's going to see how many he can get out of this one. Very, he'll probably get three out of this one. One. They're nice and tall. You see, he's keeping them tall still. That's brilliant. And maybe you'll get one, one more. Two more? Two one more. more. Two more? Yeah. No, keep them high, rather. I'd rather do one nice tall one. We've got them lovely and tall. Do you want to use this one? Yeah. There we go. And then a tiny little one. We'll just make a little scone up and we'll roll it up so we don't waste it. Should we just make it a bit longer? Yeah, do, do. A tiny bit of milk. Use my oh, no, a little brush maybe. No, okay, I, I, I use my I fingers. Oh, use this. your fingers. Go on. I think when you're doing home cooking, look how good your fingers are. Brilliant. I love that. And that's going to give them a little bit of a sheen. There we go. If you want, you can use a brush. I think there's nothing like fingers. They clean. You've washed them and the scones are going to cook. So they're not going to be contaminated. Well, I made, I made them by hand, so I want yeah. them very close. That is lovely. And that is scones. Let's pop them in the oven. Yeah, the oven is quite hot. Oven cost 2 to 10, 10 2 to 50. 50. Yeah. Okay, 2 to 50, nice and hot, because what's going to happen is as soon as that baking powder is at, feels the heat, it's got being mixed with the liquid, yeah. Yeah. Hits the heat hits it, it's going to rise yeah. and be there. We might turn it down just to cut it back and heat it down nicely. If we then need it to. Turns the temperature and down. the most it will be 8 to 10 minutes, yeah? Yes. There you go. Well done, Helen. Oh, what beautiful scones. There you go. Do you want to dust them a little bit first? Yes, why not? Yeah. We're going to dust them off with a little, put a little bit of icing sugar over the top. We don't put sugar into them. That's great. That just makes them look so pretty. We don't have to, we don't do it on cheese scones, but on plain scones, that's beautiful. Okie dokie, so, now Sahara is taking the video, so come on Sahara, Enjoy. come and taste, come and taste, okay. help yourself to one, take a nice big one please, and you never cut scones, here you go, break it, in half, that way, yeah, that's it, well done, never mind, that's perfect, then do you like Cream and jam, or jam and cream? Mm. Like cream. Jam. Yeah. So you put a bit of jam onto each one. I'll put a bit of jam onto the little one. Yeah, that you can well, you see, you need to see them move now. Don't see them like I made it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tell them you don't like it. There we go. Take a taste. Take the little one. Go on. Okay, Hold the plate. Hold the plate. Then you are. If it was me, I would drop it. <laughs> Are you going to try one, Master? No, I was because I've been eating cakes all day. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got a visitor here. Can I make you one, Georgia? My hands are washed. So, do you like jam and cream or cream and jam? Cream Can you see, if you do this, it should just split nicely in the middle. Because remember how we folded it? That, food, that gives you that nice cream and jam. Cream and jam, yeah. Cream. And it's very light, it's not like... They're beautiful. Can you see the texture? I like that. That's because um, they were just not played with. And let's get some jam. And some jam. Oopsie. There you go. We've got a visitor here who's not being photographed, and she'll make suitable sounds, I think. <laughs> Off camera, let's hear what you think. We want to be, mmm, if you like it. Mm. <laughs> How is it's it? good, right? Mm, it's really good. Really good scone, mm -hmm. isn't it? So, that is, everyone, how you make scones. Can you and I just have a quick run through of what we think is important 
in scones. We each do one step that we think is important. Right. Yeah? yeah. So let's start. You start. Well, first of all, you need to weigh all your ingredients properly, accurately. Then, yeah. sec yeah. secondly, you need to bring it to oven and get one your each. One each. One each. You saying one thing and then I'm saying one. All right. So all right. he said two things. So finish your two. No, no, you finish it. <laughs> so I'll take kind of the second one. She upsets me now. <laughs> what did you say? Turn on the oven yeah. and yeah. get your, your tray, tray ready, ready yeah. just to take everything. Right. Okay. Now you. And after that, you combine your wet and dry ingredients together. And what are the wet ingredients? The oil, milk, and the egg. Yeah, and you mix them together very together. well. Very well. And I will say if you combine all your dry ingredients together, that is your flour, your baking powder, and your salt. Salt, just a little pinch. We don't use ready mixed flour. No. What do they call it? Self raising. Self raising. We always use baking powder. That's right. And, yeah. okay. And next one, one. One, one thing that you should not do is to over mix your scones, your scones, uh, your scones batter all. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to reiterate that as my point as well. Do not over mix your dough. Yes. The secret of a good scone is just mixing it lightly and then pulling it together, together as fast as you can. Right. Yeah. Also, it should not be too dry, it should not be too wet. If it's too dry, it's horrible to eat. If it's too it's too wet, it's going to give you a lot of hard time to yeah, cut it. Yeah, it's like a drop scone. And it's going to drop scones. When I'm making yeah. drop scones, it's going to be, it is a scone, it's the, the, the classic scones we're talking about. But we don't put any sugar in our scone. We keep it sugarless because we put jam and cream on top. We don't use butter because we're going to be using lots of cream on top or lots of some topping. So we tend not to do ours with butter but with oil. But you can always substitute butter. You would rub your butter into your dry ingredients instead of putting the oil into the wet ingredients. Can we add, can we add if it's possible, sugar if we want? We can. That's not right. too much. It's, yeah, all right, because we're using that. Yes. Yeah. But you would, would you add sugar? You put a bit of sugar in the Well, I don't put you, sugar. You don't either? No, I don't like this one with sugar myself. Yeah. Okay, and then when you mix them together, what's the secret? Uh, just fold it lightly and gently. Very and quickly. Yeah, not too much flour on the top work. Otherwise, it's going it's gonna, it's gonna to absorb it. And you just cut it with the with cutter. That's what we do here before Christmas. Flour cutter. Flour cutter. One no, flour. One flour to stop it from sticking, mm -hmm. and it can scones can come out easily and nicely and well shaped. Great. Yeah, that's and then into a very and then oh we didn't show them one thing. Yeah. When you put scones in, we didn't tell you that we took it for granted. You always put them in I as did. even, but we did it, but yeah. we didn't tell them we were doing yeah. it. You always do them as even and odds. Because that gives them a nice lot of space to rise. You don't do them in rows next to each other. And also the heat surrounding exactly. circulate around each scone. When would you put them straight? The only time, I would only can think of only one time when I put them straight. Yeah. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns, yeah. yeah. That's what, all rolls or bread rolls or anything like that. Because you want them to sandwich. But we're not talking yeah. about breads, things like that. And then into a very hot oven, yeah. eight to ten minutes. Yes, yeah. yeah. And there you, there you go. go. And they don't, they're not nice after a while. Scones are for making and for eating and immediately, away, yeah. not keeping for the next day or the next no, afternoon. No, next day, no way. Straight out of the oven, onto the table, best way of eating a scone. Yeah. And if you want to make cheese scones, what do you do? Well, it just, you know, adds um, grated cheese to it. In, in into, the dry cookies, ingredients. into the dried ingredients. And in cookery school, what we do, we add to, uh, to grated cheese and we add green okay. onions and some herbs. And we mix it together, and it just we 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 did we did exactly the same way we did that. And, exactly, and we get yeah. beautiful, beautiful yeah. cheese scones, and those are delicious with a big dollop of lovely butter. Yeah. So we're okay. We hope that you all know the secret of making a good scone. Yeah, easy. Job. Easy. Yeah. No, easy. It's really easy. No problem. Okay. Ramadan. Ramadan finished. <laughs>